Hello students, today we shall learn about conserving sodium which is the past tense of a shell. The uses of soda are likewise. It is used to give suggestion or advice. Likewise, you should walk hard. You should take exercise daily. This is the advice. Then the next use of soda is used to suggest a moral obligation also. For example, you should respect your teachers. The elders should love the youngers. The teachers should reach in the classroom timely. These are some of the moral obligations. And another example can be taken. Likewise, every child should respect the elders. So these are the moral obligations. The next use of should is to use to express purpose after next. There is the word last. After last, we use should in such a way. Example, I work hard lest I should fail. We can say, he ran fast lest he should miss the train. The next use of should is to express assumption and exposition. Means the things are not certain and we can express about them by using should. Likewise, I think you should win this match this time. I think Mohan should reach here by 10 o'clock. It's totally position is there, but we are not confirmed and we are not certain about the fact. The last use of should is there. Should have is used to express a past duties. Things that, had, that should have been happened in the past but could not be performed. Those should be expressed by using a actually should. Example, I should have appeared in the examination. Or we can say, I should have paid the loan timely. Okay, uh, now let us discuss about auxiliary would be. Would is the past tense of a will. Likewise, he says, I will finish this game. When we convert this sentence into a direct speech, it will be like that. He said to the university command we said use that and he I will convert it to he will change into would he would finish this change into that that game. Okay. Next use of would is to express polite request. In fact to make a request we use can, we use make, we use might, we use it, may also, but to make very humble request. We use auxiliary would. For example, would you like to help me? Would you please give me 100 rupees? So it is used to express the polite request. Next use of would is to express wish. Likewise, would that I were a bird. Okay. Next use is it is used to express a preference. Preference between the two things. For example, I would prefer to take tea than coffee. I would die rather than bad. And another example, he would like to go away rather than stay. And the next use of would is to express the imagination or unreal condition. For example, if I were a bird, I would fly in open sky. Or if I were the Prime Minister of India, I would show the dispute of a Kashmir within Pakistan. Now, let us discuss about the uses of auxiliary must. Must is used to express a compulsion, necessity or strong obligation. For example, uh, it is really outside. So you must take umbrella with you. Obligation, strong obligation. You are not feeling well. You must consult the doctor. Here, must and should both auxiliaries have some differences. We use auxiliary should in such conditions where advice is given but that is not a obligatory. But if we want to express the obligation and the advice which will not be followed or which will not be carried out, it will be harmful for the person.
to whom we are giving the instruction. For example, electricity must not be touched or the wire must not be touched because it flows current through it. So there is the difference between should and must. Should expresses the general instructions, general advice, while must expresses the obligatory advice or obligatory or compulsory uh, compulsion necessary instructions. Okay. Next use of must is to express the duty. Duty. The soldiers must carry the order of his of their commander. And another example, the students must carry forward the instructions of the teachers. Next use of must is in, this used to express the determination. This year our school basketball team must win the trophy because we worked very hard. So there is the determination. Uh, we can take another example. I must score 95% marks in this examination. Okay. Next is it. It is used to express a prohibition. Prohibition to deny the people to do any activity. For example, you must not park here the cars or the cars must not be parked in front of the gate. Next example, the teacher advised the students that they must complete five questions at all. Okay, the next use of must is a it is used to express the possibility. Rina must have slept by now or Ramesh must complete the assignment by 10 o'clock. So these are some of the common uses of a auxiliary must. And today in this video we learned about auxiliary, should, would and a must. So thank you everyone for watching this video.